What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts. We got a guest today. We got a guest This has been a long today. time coming. Yeah. Because I've been wanting you on the show for a minute. Hey, yes. when that bitch drop body smoking marijuana, mm-hmm. I said, hey, she got to come on now. <laughs> we got to get Houston mm-hmm. in the house. So we got Ken the man on the show today. What's up, y'all? All right, so for the people who live in Under Rock and right. don't know who you are, let the girls and the guys know who you are. Well, I'm Ken the motherfucking man. Period. I'm a ratchet ass rapper from Houston, Texas. <laughs> I got all the pussy popping shit. Period. You, this, this, that's the energy we that's, need. That's the motherfucking intro right there. You know there. what I'm saying? Because as soon as I say pussy, sometimes it gets me like, pussy? <laughs> Now, at this point, I think they used to be saying pussy, 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 got pussy. To. You got to let them know what they getting into. <laughs> okay, so what you been up to this past week, girl? Girl, you know, chilling. I just been relaxing. That's good. Because I went to Miami. How was that? It was fun. It was fun. But I um, see you were trying to be like a little aesthetic girl on the Instagram. Yes, you see my <laughs> real. Like, <laughs> Rolly and the martini. <laughs> I be trying to, I'm trying to switch up the flow on yeah. Instagram. You know, I feel like when you a quote unquote influencer, you have to try to stay with the times. Uh-huh. And I feel like we getting old, bitch. I'm behind on the time. Now you gotta make reels and shit to stay relevant on yes. Instagram. So like I feel so lame because the whole time I'm in Miami, because you know how I am. I very much feel like I used to be that type of person that when I would be out, I would record everything. Yeah. But as I've gotten older, I don't do that anymore. Mm-hmm. Like I just be trying to enjoy the moment but I felt so lame because I literally was recording everything yeah. like a fucking tourist you know what's crazy I was like one I was like why is she recording so much because you <laughs> never post that much like ever. when I was uh posting on my story mm-hmm. yeah because I was planning on making a reel so I was literally recording everywhere I went like I had never been to Miami before now this is what's funny about the reel because she's talking about oh yeah I'm switching it up aesthetic at the end of the video it was definitely <laughs> ass being thrown <laughs> Ted, and she was like I had to throw that in for a little razzle dazzle <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny watching you dance. You are the funny. Like I can't dance, but you really can't dance. I feel like I have got better. I feel like I have gotten better over the years. You gotta give me a little credit. You said I that last like it. I can't even be the judge. Shit. No, if you, you don't need backup dancers, don't call us, girl. <laughs> Do not call us. We not the girls for you, girl. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so what's been new with you, kid? Like, what's going on? Well, I got some songs dropping. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I've been out here, and then I had a show. Okay, so how was it? It was good. It's okay. my second one. The gay clubs love me. We ain't got in the straight market. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, I've just been working. I've been trying to like do stuff different, mm-hmm. like increase my hustle and shit. So. Mm-hmm. And I need to take my pictures too. I was like, I got to do this aesthetic thing because I'm an old bitch too. Yeah. I feel like all these junk hoes, they just passing me up with all the reels and the TikTok. Yes, I was like, girl, hey, you got to know. Grandma I, and I, look, girl. Big mama, y'all got it, bitches. <laughs> we just not made a up. TikTok. Like, we just not made no, a TikTok. Too, like like December. Really? Yes. Yes, girl. I feel like we so behind with the time. Look, I made one TikTok and got five likes. I said, I'm off this hole. Because <laughs> this shit was golden. I said, five <laughs> likes. Do y'all know who I am? I was insulted. <laughs> no. But it's real. crazy because the interaction on TikTok is really wild because we just made our poor minds TikTok and our shit be going up on there. Yeah, yeah. like the one thing I can say about TikTok, the algorithm real good. Yeah. On there. Like, you can just go viral for nothing. You just never know. Mm-hmm. Like, they, put it, they put it on front streets. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I be seeing so much shit. Instagram like, be hating these days. Yeah, they do. Bitch, you gotta try too hard on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. they, and they be um reporting every damn thing. And right. trying to I get you off that motherfucker. got a band lifted. I ain't even do shit. Girl, I, I done got like, shadow being before too. I don't get that. It's a mess. Yeah, it I, don't, I don't really fool with uh, Instagram no more. Mm-hmm. So... I have officially, I'm officially not dating anyone. I have okay. nobody. But you know what? I sleep so much better. Like, I feel <laughs> so much better. Like, I ain't lying to nobody. I ain't cheating. You know, I ain't doing nothing. So, this is like my rebirth, I feel like. Mm. So, when did you cut off your last nigga? Um, I think, you know what? Let me, nothing happened. It was just kind of like, I feel like the time just expired. You just was like, I'm done with you? Nigga? The time yeah. just expired. And then like, I just feel like I'm in a new chapter. So it was like a dude hit me up the other day, a dude that I ain't talked to in so long. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, I kind of asked him like, well, wh- what's up? Like, why are you texting me? He was mm-hmm. like, oh, I can't text you. That's news to me. <laughs> I said, news to you. 
So in that moment, I decided from now on, when people text me that I don't want to talk to, mm-hmm. since y'all want to act like it's breaking news, I'm going to start giving them the news like a news reporter. <laughs> How you going to say it? I'm going to go like this. <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lex P with Poor Minds Media. Breaking news. You niggas no longer have access to me. Yes, according to the government and CDC, you have to evacuate the area that is my phone. <laughs> More coming at 6 p.m. Back to you, Dre. <laughs> No bullshit. Hey, that's how you really gotta start handling these niggas, news, though. Niggas, because they be acting like they don't that know. Is, bitch, I ran into one of my old niggas the other day. Every time you run into him, it's a problem. He is Did a you psycho. run into him or y'all ran into each other? <laughs> well, you wanna know what's funny, girl? Every time I run into him, I'm always with my same friend, and so I didn't even peek. That I guess he was staring at me the whole time. I wasn't even paying attention. So when we about to leave, he's literally like, "Hey, hey." So I'm like, hey, you can come over here and say, hey, like, why are you being weird? So he come over there and he like, oh, you look good. He was like, um, I'm going to hit you up. I'm about to open up a little lounge and I want you and your friends to come through. So I'm like, all right, cool. He ends up messaging me like maybe five minutes later. Talking about, man, I really want to come on your show. Actually, that'll never happen. Because <laughs> this is the same Sorry man. Sorry to inform you. This is the same man when we started the show that was like, Mm-mm, yeah, ain't gonna work. He wasn't feeling and it. And then, like, second of all, you always losing your bitches. Oh, like always. He is that man always loses his bitches. He do. It's very sad story. <laughs> Sorry to that man, but you ain't got nothing to tell the girls. <laughs> yeah, he don't have nothing to talk about. And it's- What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know, we love us some Hello Fresh. Yes, we love Hello Fresh. And with me trying to get back into like healthy eating and healthy habits, I've been loving the calorie smart option. Yeah, so the good thing about Hello Fresh is that you save money, y'all. I don't know if y'all noticed, but groceries are getting expensive, okay? Mm-hmm. So, and you can save on average over $65 a month whenever you use HelloFresh versus grocery shopping. And also, it's 72% cheaper than going out to eat. Yeah, and it saves you so much time because it's already pre-portioned. So once it gets delivered to your house, all you got to do is cook it up. So you know the other day I had cooked the garlic herb chicken. It was so good. Now, you didn't share with me this time, but I'm coming I'm coming for my plate. Okay, I got you next time. Can't miss the HelloFresh plate. So what <laughs> you're going to do is you're going to go to HelloFresh.com slash PoorMind16 and use code PoorMind16 for up to 16 free Three meals and three free gifts. I put up two. Y'all know I'm in three. I'm hungry. I gotta go get my Hello Fresh. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get into these topics this week. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to talk about today, you know, we gotta talk about music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, you've been doing it for how long you been rapping? Like eight years. <laughs> Look now, wow. I've, been, I've been singing for about 15 myself. <laughs> what? So you can't back up, but you can give me some backup I can, Look, if you need a vocal. We're going to try it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so today I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about the state of hip hop, like for women right now. Because we've talked about this a little bit, you know, on other episodes, like mm-hmm. our opinions, but we've never had, you know, a female rapper mm-hmm. on the show. So... I feel like so many people are just like, because female rep, um, hip hop is like, right yeah, now, it's, it's like, yeah, off. like everybody's mm-hmm. doing well, I mm-hmm. feel like, if you're good. Mm-hmm. But right. I feel like it's so much backlash. Like, they're like, oh, everybody rapping about the same thing. Mm-hmm. Everybody doing the same thing. So, I want to know how you feel about that and how do you respond to that? I feel like we all are human people, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So, we all experience the same shit. Right. So, when them niggas was doing it, we be vibing out, you mm-hmm. know? They want to take our pussy down. Right. Throw that pussy out to their homeboy. <laughs> yeah. like, fuck the team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, when we want to like you know clap mm-hmm. back and be like nah you sucking on this pussy yeah right before you stick it mm-hmm. and bitch you taking me out of town right just to fuck me mm. you know but it's like i don't understand why we can't talk about our experiences when they talk about like killing people all the time <laughs> and we right. just be like shooting that shit up with them we all complain but now yeah right we don't got no guns they be like bitch shit your pussy but I honestly feel like the reason it's so much backlash like I said this on the past episode I feel like it's because they hate when women feel empowered yes I think that's what it is you know what I'm saying like even like when I listen to your songs like it be like yeah like this nigga this is what I want this is what I want to do like you you finna do it for her you finna do it for me bitch like you know what I'm saying so I feel like they don't like that we have control of our bodies and our sexuality it's like 
I cannot believe that we're not past that anymore. Right. But I feel like people trying to act like it's something new. Like women haven't been rapping about, about this shit. Like Little Kim. Bro, Let's talk about I Little Kim, that. Foxy Brown. Mm-hmm. Like, that mm-hmm. makes sense. All of these women been talking about this same shit. So why is it an issue now? Like why are y'all trying to make it an issue now? Like everybody, men and women love Trina. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's kind of hard to forget Trina. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's like, come on. Yeah, so it's new. Mm-hmm. Not as too. No, you know what? It's getting too active out here for us. They don't mm-hmm. like it. Right. Like, Damn, y'all wearing chains and shit like that. Right. Right. And, I, and that's and like I said, I just feel like they're intimidated because I'm not trying to be funny. It's a lot of people who rap and make music out here. Mm-hmm. So I feel like sometimes it might be a little jealousy. I mean, I, I feel like it's more so this. I feel like music these days is influencing the culture more. Mm-hmm. And that's why the niggas don't like it. Because mm-hmm. women been rapping about the same shit for the longest. Right. But it's just back in the day. I think even though, you know, you had Trina, you had Lil' Kim, you had all of these women rapping about this mm-hmm. shit. Women were still scared to ask they nigga and let they nigga know, no, this is what I want. This that's is what you true. need to do. These days, our generation, we not afraid to let these niggas know what's up. And, we and I feel like they be feeling like it's because of the music that we're listening yeah, to. Because right. women are so vocal these days about what they want. You and know they how kids. hard it is to me today because these niggas be so insecure and I don't, mm-hmm. but I don't deal with that shit. I be like, you giving pussy. I it's the like same this. way with us yeah, though. I, feel like. I do not like that. They all be intimidated. It don't make sense. I feel like a lot of times too, it's like, I think people get the message misconstrued a lot too because yeah like I want a man to spoil me but I'm not saying you gotta show up on the first date with a Birkin bag right but I well, I mean you could I mean you can <laughs> that that ain't gonna stop right. you. you know. but I'm just saying like I feel like when we say, oh, we want a man who's ambitious, who out here can match our hustle, that's working hard and that's bringing something to the table, it's a problem. Mm-hmm. It's always a fucking problem when a woman speaks up for herself or has control over anything. Yeah, they do not like that shit. They be like, how you don't want no strong bitch? They want the weak bitches. They be the thing. Yeah, they do. They definitely mm-hmm. be wanting weak bitches. But it's like, so, it's so nah, music is like kind of provoking the weak bitches to not be weak no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think they be like, uh-huh, because mm-hmm. they always be telling me one way we was in a car together. And he just supplied it. He's talking about listening to yourself. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I am. So embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. And I don't see no problem. Mm, mm, mm. There you go. My lips was dry. Girl, look, we get all right here. I be like, tie him attention. Yeah, girl. It's all right, girl. You can ask me. We do it every like, episode. It's cool. It's cool. So, um, I also want to talk about the beefs too, because one thing that we have to deal with on this show is people always trying to pin me and Dre against each other. Like, really? yeah, because yeah. well, our, I'm a I'm a shady friend. Like, I'm the type of friend you know I love you. If I'm like, bitch, you a stupid bitch, or <laughs> bitch, you look ugly. Like, I just that's just how I joke mm. around a lot. So a lot of times we when we joke with each other. People be like, oh, Lex wasn't feeling Dre this episode, or Dre wasn't feeling Lex. So yeah. they try to create beef with us. They try to create beef with These other podcasts. Like fucking weird. Right? They so are. I know that they you are. experienced that as mm. well. Ooh, them fan bases, they just be really just trying. I be looking at them try. I be like, y'all bitches dumb. I don't even know shit. Right. Yeah, they just be trying to create problems where it's not one. Because, like she said, they do that all the time with us too. And we like best friends. But mm. they just be like, oh, Drea was in. She had an attitude with Lex today. And I might have had an attitude, but it wasn't <laughs> even because know. of her though yeah. you know I might have just had a bad day and they be trying to be like oh well she she not fucking with it she's acting like she's annoyed with her it's like bitch you reading way too deep into the and, and, and if you really want to know she's annoyed with me every day <laughs> and that's fake cold tea <laughs> That's facts. Let them know. At least once a day. <laughs> <laughs> at least once a day. At least. Can you so, imagine? I know you can tell Lex is shit. She, <laughs> she a lot. And what about she, she, she a lot. And is. And is, ma'am. Miss Mamas. <laughs> Miss Girl. But I also want to talk about Houston, too. Mm-hmm. Because you know what's crazy? Houston had a moment. Like, the, like when the Super Bowl came in Houston, it was like everything just started going up from there. Yeah, I took it way back. But wait, Still are tipping you, on four oh, you talking about back. that Super Bowl? Mm-hmm. I thought you was. Well, I thought you was talking about the recent one. Oh no, 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 no! I'm talking about the first Super Bowl. <laughs> I was like, like that orange jumping out. You don't be knowing your Houston history. <laughs> Come on now, give me a little credit. I was on IT and by ten, bitch. <laughs> don't play with me now. So, when Houston, like, had their uprising, like, Mike Jones mm-hmm. was everywhere, like, Slim, like, we had a moment. And it just seemed like, it just kind of, like, vanished. Mm-hmm. And it just kind of, yeah. like, well, not let me not say vanished. It just declined, like, yeah. majorly. And it's like, Atlanta just took over and it stayed there. Like, mm-hmm. when Atlanta came up, it came up and they just... They ain't leave no crumbs. They ain't leave no crumbs left. Clean the place. So, how do you feel about the state of, like, Houston right now and the music no, scene? No, I feel like... We always be saying like Houston 
it's such a scene, but it's like, I don't feel like, we don't have like a whole bunch of studios. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. a couple of studios. It's like, a co- it's a couple of networking stuff. It's not really networking. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I don't know. But like artistically, I feel like, yes, like we, it's like bitches coming from every direction. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm like, I'm proud of it because it's kind of like, it's really the women too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. So it's, like, so it's nice to like, kind of be a part of that that pop because it did it really did decline it was like real quiet and it just, yeah. it's just weird because it's big and everybody come there right. it's like we don't have no music scene we really don't but I feel like it's I feel like we we're creating one mm-hmm. like kind of as like doing our own things and like you know just expanding and shit so I feel like it's it's way better than what it was. Do you feel like you receive a lot of support from people in Houston? Because I know when I used to live in Houston, a lot of people, they used to do music when I was living out there. Mm-hmm. They used to be like, they felt like the reason why a lot of Houston artists don't really pop off is because a lot of people don't support the people from yeah. their own city. You know what's crazy? I came out here and just random features mm-hmm. boom, hopping in the booth like just getting on my shit mm-hmm. and Houston has never happened. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's kind of mm-hmm. like it's not, it's so fucked up. It's like you... We have it, mm-hmm. but it's just like, I, I don't want to say I don't have support because it's like, I have support from my supporters. Mm-hmm. I can't say that I have support from the everybody sh- in the, the movers and shakers. The mo- that's what I be saying. I be yeah. like, it's cool. You know, it's cool. I'm not tripping. Like, my right. supporters has got me, gotten me far, but I always say it's like, it be those missing pieces of the people that actually can move and shake mm-hmm. and like, get you a good repost and stuff. Like, right. niggas do not be fucking with the young yeah. But you know what's crazy? Because I always felt like the one thing about Atlanta that I like, yeah. and I love Houston, I'm not trying to yeah. down Houston but I will say like when you come to Atlanta and somebody feels like you talented and you got that drive they want to be the person that say you know what I discovered her or yeah. I discovered him and I put them under my wing right. and look where they are now like Houston, 2 chains are... stamped me before anybody else wow. that's crazy yeah. Yeah. like before anybody else that is crazy like and it's crazy because he from here he right from here, and right. I feel like with Houston they want you to already be popping before they co-sign you yeah right? and it's For crazy because sure. everybody say that so it gotta be accurate yeah Bro, like even with us I feel like it's the same thing yeah. it's the same thing with us like now we have have so many supporters so many people that we knew from Houston they be like oh yeah y'all should fuck with y'all show it's so mm-hmm. dope but when we first started doing it you been knowing us mm-hmm. but nobody was supporting it until it became cool to support mm-hmm. it you know that's how it be. and I feel that's like okay. that's why Atlanta rap took off the way it did because everybody was on everybody's songs back then everybody was yes. doing features with everybody mm-hmm. I feel like Houston rappers don't really be sticking together in that way nope. mm-hmm. no. I feel like I don't want to. I don't like to use the word like dick riding because it's not. They be dick, dick riding after the Okay, well, we can say y'all be motherfuckers dick riding. God damn it, it's <laughs> riding, riding. Yeah, but yeah. I feel like why don't? I mean, I just feel like and everybody is saying the same thing though. So it's like, when is it going to be that one person that like step up and be like, you know what? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna do this way. Like, you know I'm what? Do I was trying to be that bitch. Yeah, they had me fucked up though. I was like, nah. I see why people don't be that bitch because what? That, like yeah, we that, that was for real. Like, I feel like I was trying to be the person to change it like so the support but it's like I was popping people blowing people to fuck up and mm-hmm. the bitches would never look my direction again and not saying I did it mm-hmm. for something right. but it's crazy how they shitted on me but it's like I never stop. Like you know, people have moments and that shit die down. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and especially if you doing you doing your shit like that. I know I ain't the only one you did it to. You know, right, right. Right. so I be feeling like you know they shit die down. Then they circle back. It be like kind of like man, don't come back now. I want to do that when the song was hot. Right. Right. Now I'm trying to look. We gotta work with each other. Popularity, bitch. But that right. your song number thirty eight hundred on iTunes. Right. Now. I ain't doing that shit no more. Why would I fuck with you now? <laughs> yeah, like uh-uh. and I mean I be like when them bitches do shit to me, I remember forever. I am the same. <laughs> But no, I feel that way because honestly, I was in Houston for so long. I had graduated from college. I was like, I want to do something in media. I didn't mm-hmm. know exactly what. And um, there was one person that really was like trying to help me get in the radio. Remember Key West? Yeah. Um, I used to go up there with Key West, intern with him, and he was really, really shout out to Key West because he was really like, I'ma help you because mm-hmm. you funny, you good. No, but every time I hit up somebody to come do something or do somewhere, everybody now them same people like man Lex I knew you was funny Bitch, fuck you. Yeah, I mean, even with me, that was one of the main reasons why I actually decided to move to Atlanta because right. I know I wanted to do something with media and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I just felt like in Houston, it just was not a big market for you, that. I don't feel like you would have ever even. Came oh up. no, no, uh, uh-uh, uh, girl. That place, I ain't gonna lie. It's like 
it like I love my city. I would never move. Oh, but you yeah. know, it, it does like kind of lack creativity to me. Yeah, they so like having the same moved, people though. on the radio. I created my damn self. Yeah. I create the moment for me. That's and I true. That's true. All, I don't even go outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's kind of like I just be in my little bubble. Period. Unless you get paid. Yeah, unless I'm getting paid. I swear I'm not going outside. Well, I guess that makes sense though, too, because like you can move around like you want to do. Like me, I had three dollars. So I was like, I gotta live here or there, <laughs> bitch. Cause I can't fly back and forth now. So I had to make a choice. Had to make a decision. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that definitely makes sense. It does. What's up, y'all? It's your girl XP. And it's your girl Dre Nicole. And we are here to tell y'all about manscaped.com. Now I know a lot of y'all be shaving your balls and shaving your face with one razor. We're not doing that no more. Yeah, so you need to get you the new Manscaped trimmer, which is the lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right, the 4.0. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code POORMINDS at manscaped.com. It has precise trimming. It has different sizes, one through four. It has an LED light on there when you really want to get in them corners. It's going to hook you up. And it has wireless charging, so it's great for travel. Mm-hmm. So get 20% off plus free shipping and use code Poor Minds. You're going to go to manscaped.com. Use code Poor Minds for 20% off plus free shipping. Period. Get your balls right. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code POORMINDS at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, before we get on to the next topic, because I'm nosy beach now, okay. I want to talk about like the popularity too. Like mm-hmm. what do you, what do you feel like affects the popularity like in Houston? Like who, whether, you know, you are popular or not. Um, you know what I think? I think it's like a real friendly thing like I'm with everybody mm. you know what I'm saying but me it's like I'm not meaning to be closed in but I'm kind of like a I'm not a person to hang with everybody because I have real friends mm-hmm. right you know what I'm saying I don't have industry friends like I have friends that are like they care about my mental state right. they, they come right. if I had no car they'll come pick me up you right. know so it's kind of like I don't really place myself not intentionally but it's just always been me I've always had this little tight knit you know mm. so I feel like that is what it is it's about like Everybody that just kind of interacts like with it's other. clickish, yeah. it's real clickish, yeah. And Atlanta is like that too. You I, know believe, what I, mean? I, I believe it's like that everywhere. Yeah, because, you know, but it's like some people are friendlier and more open. It's just like I'm not really like that, but I'm really nice. Right, it's kinda right, like, right, I'm right. just I don't know. And I that's think how that's Dre nice. is. Like she's really nice, but right. what's your sign? People don't I think I am, but I am. I'm a Taurus. Nobody's ever my sign. <laughs> I'm a Gemini. <laughs> you a Gemini? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, bitches, and up. Jim and I support group. Raise your <laughs> hand. You see what I'm saying? I mean, everybody, I, but you know what? It's the dudes. You ain't never met a girl you ain't like. Right? Honestly, my last situation, he was with a Gemini. He was a Gemini, and yeah. baby. He fucked it up, right? Yeah. A Gemini man terrorized my life. I had two Gemini life. men, and it was just. But we I not had gonna... one, girl, and Oof. it was, whew. I was like, this is how I act? Psycho. <laughs> no, but see, I think when it comes to signs, we just had an astrology episode, and I feel like the men and the women are completely yeah, different. Yeah, they definitely are. Most of they the time, are. you know what I mean? So, mm, yeah, most I Gemini agree. women I've came across, they be cool. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to get into the next topic because we're going to get some relationship gossip going. I just had to get the Houston Tea Girl because I'm nosy, and I don't really... I'm not going to... I, I we, say, we, I, we be off the loop. Yeah, I'll be off the loop because I don't be in Houston. I mean, even now, like, what we doing now, like, we don't be getting booked in Houston. Everybody be like, oh, why don't y'all ever come out here? Because nobody be booking us. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, we'll yeah, get they booked do be out asking here. Us that all yeah, the we'll time. get booked out here or wherever else we got a show or whatever. But, mm-hmm. but I mean, I actually had like a little incident recently with a Houston promoter that I've been knowing for a really long time. Mm-hmm. And they wanted to book me at a club and I told them my rate and they said it was cool. And then when it was time to circle back around and like actually pay the deposit, they was like, oh, well, I could give you this instead of this. It's like, no, yeah, I, I already told you what my rate is. And I know we cool, but I definitely can't demand what I charge right yeah, now. Absolutely. You just trying to play on my top because if it was Bernice Burgos or anybody else. That you don't know you would pay that you money, would pay them that money. Pay somebody, you know, that's what I'd be like. You be thinking good. you could lowball me because we, and then she, the person was like, oh yeah, we've been knowing each other since you was like, 17 yeah we have but at the <laughs> end of the day move. bitch my price is my price yeah, yesterday's price today. is not today's price mm-hmm. but yeah yeah houston i love y'all but please get it together because mm-hmm. i do feel together. like it is a lot of talent 
I've been feeling city. like you know who be trying yep. the hardest. It be producers. <laughs> the producers. Producers be trying to do like they try to make more. They be seeing. They be trying to get people. Yeah, I can, I can acknowledge that it be the producers if anybody. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. you know I actually um I actually follow June. Remember I told you I yeah, wanted June, June James. Is one big, mm-hmm. June is so he cool. always go back and do that shit all really? the time. Like yeah. every month, damn near he be back and he be like announcing it, letting everybody know. Like I want to do these mixtapes and all this stuff. So mm-hmm. he's one of them. Yeah, I fuck with June. I actually because I wanted him to come on the show when he mm-hmm. was out here, but we wasn't. We was off that week. But yeah, shout out to June because I met June like long, long time ago. Like when he was super, super young. Mm-hmm. So just to see his success and like see people like that and that are actually good people, mm-hmm. you know, I'm like, okay, I can fuck with that. Like I rock with that. You yeah. know what I mean? But I feel like it was the same thing with June. Like he kind of stayed in his little bubble. Yeah. Like he wasn't being too mixy with people. Mm-hmm. He kind of just kept his head down and like was working. I mean, because to be honest, I feel like if you meant to do something and you're meant to be successful at something, you ain't got to be mixy because yeah. you already got the it factor. Mm-hmm. So you ain't really got to be in the mix. Yeah. Like, you know, I feel like people that got to try hard to like be in the mix and stay in the mix, you got to do that because you ain't really got like no real talent. Mm. <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. We not, we not name dropping today now. No, of course not. Mm. But, but I can if you want. <laughs> No, well, I don't let me in this. I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm going to be right in the crossfire, bitch. I'm going to love what you do. And we don't ever be in Houston, bitch. And I'm like, that should go right there. They're going to be like, they're going to be like, my kid, what you said on poor minds? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, so the next topic I want to talk about because I recently had a situation where I was dealing with this guy. And I liked him. I thought I liked him. And then you know how sometimes you think you like somebody mm-hmm. and then like it comes like, oh, this is not the person that I thought he was. It's yeah. just not... Because sometimes you see somebody from afar and they're your dream person. Mm-hmm. And then you actually get to know them and you're like, okay, this Damn. is not what I thought Five it was. Oh, mm-hmm. Lord have mercy. So... Honestly, I, I, after I got to know him, I started to do my research. And I was like looking at like other girls he had dated, you know, other situations. I'm like, okay, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. I should have looked at your resume. That's what you got to do. We be missing that factor. Yeah. And I hate to be this person because I'm not trying to say I'm better than anybody. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to say anything or anybody's not attractive because sometimes women can be very, very attractive. It has nothing to do with that. Mm-hmm. I actually talked about this on Patreon. It's not about attacking the woman, but it's like if you're dating a woman that likes... um caviar and fish nigga I like burgers and tacos that's what I'm trying to say you know Mm -hmm. what I mean so when I looked at his resume and I'm just looking at like the women that he dated and I'm like okay if I would have just looked at this first it would have made sense like I like to travel I like gifts I like certain type of things and your bitches wasn't going nowhere (laughs) they wasn't like stuff like I should have known right so it's like I ain't mad at you I'm mad at me Mm -hmm. for not paying attention for not paying attention I be telling everybody I be like you gotta listen like you just listen to what they saying because they don't give a fuck about you in the beginning right so they they play their whole hand but we just be so in like uh-uh, mm-hmm. so fine. yeah we can go eat baby none of niggas be like yeah I got a baby on the way I just had one three months ago then you know what I'm sure. saying we don't listen because we don't care right. right but you gotta listen because they gonna still be fucked up then you gonna just be loving them right, right. you stuck right stupid or they'll gas you up and lie and be saying they oh be I'm gonna do too. this oh I'm gonna do that but then again like they you said because you really be liking the nigga in the beginning you be mm-hmm. like okay well he said he gonna do this <laughs> and he said he gonna do that so let me go ahead and give him some pussy let me go ahead yeah, fuck I'm with him I'm gonna give him a little t- I'm an advocate for hell no. No. You got to show me first. Like, and not to say I never was like that when I was younger, because I definitely feel like we've all been in situations like that. But since I've gotten older, like, no, I make niggas stand on what they say they going to do. If you Before you give them the push. Because my thing is, why you already coming out the gate? volunteering things that I didn't ask you to do. Because you could just shut up. Because you could just not say nothing. Because if I like you enough to be communicating with you, then clearly I already like you. So you don't even have to say any of this shit. You got your passport, y'all? Where are we gonna take me on the trip? When is we going? Four months later, man. Hold on, man. I got something to do this weekend. Bitch, I was about to say ten months later. (laughs) Right? Not for real. You be still, be still waiting. Wait. I still got my passport. And see, and that's my problem. I try to get people the benefit of doubt. I be, I done lost a lot of pussy like that now. God damn it. Like, yeah. I'm 32. Like, bitch, you ain't learned your lesson yet. No, yeah. You can't be just giving But honestly, them. like I said, I am really, I'm at the point where I'm thankful for that situation because mm-hmm. I learned so much about myself. Mm-hmm. And now I'm really learning how to, like, set boundaries with people. Like, y'all ain't heard this name in a long time. Throwback Bay. Literally, that's my best friend. We one of my, That's literally well, one of my best friends right now. 
Well, they right. haven't. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Throwback Bay are like best friends right now and I'm actually enjoying it. But I feel like this situation and honestly, he kind of helped me through that situation. Like I've just learned boundaries. And like I said, I should have looked at this nigga resume because one thing that we always mess up as as women, mm -hmm. we think, oh, he going to do me different. He going to treat me different. Yeah. I'm not. Which is I'm the biggest her. mistake because biggest mistake. these niggas is going to be who the fuck they are. And thinking that you're going to be different or they going to treat you different is just some bullshit. It's a stupid ass, young <laughs> ass mindset to have. Yes. because. And then the crazy thing is, as soon as you start thinking that and you start acting like, oh, I'm the one and he'll never do me like that, these niggas always going to do you like that. <laughs> yeah, and, and then we going to be over here like, Mm. <laughs> that bitch thought, that that bitch bitch. thought psych. Cause you just need to keep it cute sometimes and yeah. just don't say nothing. Just enjoy no, your I situation. God, as soon as I say, as soon as I say that number, mm -hmm. that's what like, as soon as I say my man. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, my man, my man. <laughs> bitch, you be day my one. Man. I be like, bitch, bitch my man, man left you for dead ho. <laughs> 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 that be me Dre be like where you at my man house well I thought y'all just went on y'all's first date well dessert on the way bitch this <laughs> right. is my man that's what I'm saying this is my man you know mm -hmm. like this is my man now. as so soon as you say it you jinxing it yes and I feel like even though I don't like to dwell on past relationships like that like I feel like if I was on a first date with someone and they asked like uh, ask me about like a past relationship. You can't necessarily judge me off of that, mm -hmm. but you can know a little something, something. Like if my yeah. past, like if my new nigga talks to my last nigga, is like, oh, don't fuck with her. She a cheater. Listen to that nigga. <laughs> listen now. You got to listen. That's <laughs> terrible. We I'm gonna, just being honest. Lex, we got to work on it no, in 2022. I'll be, be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheating. I'm, I don't even got a man, and I'm cheating right now. Right? I'll cheat on anything. I don't care what it is—a math test, your nigga, my friend. I'm a cheat. I just like to get that quicker. Yeah. Whatever I got to get, whatever is at the finish line, I'm trying to get that as quick as possible. So I, but I, I like that for some reason. I don't know. I feel like she don't give no fuck. But I said that. this in the past episode. If you're my man, I'm not just gonna cheat off the blue. No, it always gotta be. I will say with you, it's always a reason. It's a build up. You better give me that dick. No, <laughs> yeah. okay. You gonna give it to me? No. All right. Well, we'll get it from Last time I'm gonna ask you, pal. <laughs> yeah. You got one more time, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and once I asked that last time, <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah. It's over. You can't be about to, about to get it and then you don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> no, you gotta. Yeah, that last. And I keep saying that you to get it and you be about to get me it. Me too. That's why I think we both wasn't saying nothing because I kept Bitches. thinking. Well, I, I was, was looking at it. That man kept disappearing. Yeah, and I kept thinking it was gonna fall. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone, it's it's gone, gone now. Just get on. Yeah, got like that. Oh. <laughs> Interrupted my call. I'm like, this. but you oh. was really trying. To get I used to be an advocate for not cheating, but now as I'm getting older, like to be honest, you niggas be desire you deserve to get cheated on. Yeah, dog, for real. They dog. Cause y'all be fraud. They be fraud. They be lying. At, like, I don't know. That's why I'm like. Anybody need a refill? Cause I'm just over here pouring that. I forgot. Why well, I forgot you had a whole nother she glass of wine. <laughs> yeah, we should have. Have a year. We all I drink too then. Hold on, we about to no, go see. Girl, you can drink. No, man. I drink too much. Me and you can talk to Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay, girl, so the same. Y'all agree we should look at a, a guy's resume mm -hmm. before dating. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I looked at niggas' resumes before I started fucking with them, I would have not went through a lot of like heartbreak right. and shit that I right. went through. Because again, and I feel like I definitely used to be that type of girl who used to feel like, oh, well, you know, like he ain't gonna be like that with me. Mm -hmm. You were definitely like that. And I was like, <laughs> he, he not, definitely gonna be like that with me. He's not gonna be like that with me, bitch. I'm mm. different. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Even yes. though you did, and it don't have nothing to do with you not being different because you could very well be different. Right. These them. niggas, but these, these niggas ain't different. They, right. like, like they them. Yeah, they them. They gonna stand on them, right? Exactly. And let me put a disclaimer. I'm not saying this because whenever you look at a man's resume, this is not um opportunity for you to diss other women, call mm -hmm. other bitches mm -hmm. ugly, talk because they have nothing to do with how this man did you. That's so, so lame, anyway. Yeah, Why? it's not. It's not what for you to talk down on the woman, not the Jose. Ooh, <laughs> y'all get lit now. Pour two shots. <laughs> Three. Not three. No, she gonna hey, take one too. Just a little counter now. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass. Okay, so. You ain't gotta do too much convenience. <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. That's how I did it. I didn't even finish. I seen it. She was like, okay. That's how I did it. Take your ass.
your drawers off. No, <laughs> take them off. All, All right. right. Shit, damn. You ain't got to pull my leg. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I would just say, like, it doesn't give you open field mm-hmm. to just, like, shoot other women down. Mm-hmm. That's not the point. But I'm just saying, if you look at a man's resume and see what he does for the women in the past or whoever he's dealing with, whatever the situation may be, and if you don't fit that, like, if you, if he's dating somebody that likes to travel a lot, mm-hmm. travel, they be everywhere, and you're a homebody. You need to look at that resume and realize, hey, this is not the man for me because mm-hmm. he likes to get up and go, and I don't. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Just make sure you filter out, you yeah. know, your your needs and everything. Courtney, you ain't gonna take one. You know what? This is a ghetto episode. Friend. I love it here. We Y'all, my friend back there. I wish y'all could see her. Hi, All right, girl. everybody that's watching the show, this- right now, this is not a little Kona, Javier. You and Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Cooley. Y'all done told her who it is because they really didn't know who it is. So you said it, and everybody be like, Cooley is real name. I don't give a fuck. Like, Cooley been my friend for like 10 years. Hey, friend. Okay, so this is what we're doing right now. This is a poor minds first. If you sitting at home watching it, pause it right now and get you a shot. We about to take a little shot real quick. Shout out to Ken coming through. This H time. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's already Ooh, nasty. And I said, and we said a corner, baby. This is not a corner. Yeah. At least it's cold. Yeah. That shit nasty. Mm. Bro. Now we're about to go to the club. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh, I didn't finish mine. I'm sorry. Me neither. I, I did. never finish it. Okay, Damn, I'm a savage. Such a heavy pour. Oh, this is why we all know TikTok, bitch. Why? Because you're talking about I'm a savage. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we never gonna get popped on TikTok. And my, and my little bob was swinging. <laughs> I'm a savage. Oh my god. I am. That was such an auntie oh thing to do. <laughs> you were embarrassing. I am auntie now. I feel like when I turned 30 last year, I became auntie status. I said this on Twitter the other day. I'm no longer a young baddie. I'm an OG baddie. <laughs> We grown up. Still a baddie, <laughs> but an OG. But you know what? Like she was saying earlier, like we create the wave. Yeah. So we can do whatever the fuck we want to do. That's why I said I'm definitely going to be 60, still cheating, still posting <laughs> ass pics, still nah, fucking y'all real. niggas. <laughs> There ain't nothing gonna change. I'm not about to play with you. Hopefully, I be reformed by the end. Mm, she luck. wanna be different. I wanna okay. be. Girl, she got that's she's all she's all she's like, you know what? That's what it is. It's, it's the it. maturity for me. You acting different. Yes. Yeah. It's that I'm fucking. Like, I, hopefully, vibe. I wanna change. By hopefully, next I mean, because you know, right now, I be on the shit she be on. But hopefully, I'm saying by then, by the time I'm 60, <laughs> bitch, yeah. I'm gonna be down, down there on my deathbed. I hope I'm not a hold on one. <laughs> this pussy don't stop. <laughs> it's a rally, not a stop. Why? Shit don't never stop. Period. I think our old niggas gonna be fine though, because they fine now. You know what I'm saying? Fact. I you love your oldie. I think they gonna be I dead. said if my next nigga don't have a Y'all cane, niggas gonna I don't be dead want by the end. If my next nigga don't have a cane, because <laughs> black niggas be old already. Tennis balls <laughs> on the walker. <laughs> they, be old they do, they be old. That's why you cheated. So when she's 60, they gonna be dead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, y'all gonna see me at the ashes at the graveyard ashes, every bitch. Friday. At the graveyard, everybody, all my niggas in a row. Right. That's dedication. They gonna be like, "Who you seeing this week, girl? <laughs> you listen, Earl. You you listen, Cornelius. You J. You J. I love all my niggas." <laughs> All our old niggas gonna have nicknames. Buster, Red. Like, Not red. red. Everybody know a nigga named Red. Everybody done dated a nigga named Red, for sure. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, I ain't dated a nigga named Red. Y'all did. She said, wait, actually. <laughs> Not me. Not and let's laugh in too hard. Oh. <laughs> Let me take a sip of yak. No, that's not going to do it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And if you're a person that loves to travel or you're about to get into traveling or you're just about to go on a fun trip out the country, you need to use Babbel.com. Absolutely. Babbel is a travel essential. You can learn everything from greetings, menus, and directions to just getting a better understanding of the culture. Yes. Other language apps um, use AI to do their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created with over 100 experts using their teaching method 
which has been scientifically proven to be effective. Yes, and they have over 14 different languages that you can learn from Spanish, French, Italian, and German. So right now, when you purchase three months from Babbel, you're going to get an extra three months for free. So that's a total of six months for the price of three. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Babbel.com and use code Poor Minds. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com and use code Poor Minds. Babbel, language for life. Okay, y'all. So now, look, God damn it. It's, it's time it's, to get into the bed. The bed. The bed. Bow. The bed. Bow. 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 So, for the sex topic, I wanted to talk about, like, when you start fucking with a new nigga or whatever, mm-hmm. are you shy in the bedroom? Like, or do you pull out all the stops, all the tricks? Like, mm-hmm. do you wait a minute and keep it reserved? I got my or? back the first day. I got to let them know that I'm chill. <laughs> <laughs> you know, get, then I build up because it's like, if you give them all the things at once, then I don't think they're going to respect you. <laughs> I think so, too. They're not going to respect you. you I think so, too. They're throwing them to them balls and... You spin you gotta act shy. You gotta act shy. Yeah, I be shy. I'm great at Like I close my eyes and stuff. Really? Why? You be like, oh, you be putting a cover over your head like that. Look at me. You know? I like that. My body smoking marijuana. (laughs) I get that shit from my mama. (laughs) So that be on like the third or fourth time. (laughs) She be like, if you pull the cover back, I'ma stop. (laughs) Stop. Stop. Move. Turn them down. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. <sighs> but I will ride it though. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can pull know. that one out. You would oh, yeah. yeah, well. I don't mm-hmm. like riding. Girl. I'm little. My knees. Oh, you are a lot shorter I than I thought you were. Thing. I'll be riding. Yeah, y'all, y'all. You shorter than me? She is shorter I think, than you. I'm you think so? Me. Because when I hugged her, I was looking at you. I was like, damn, you're short. I am. I'm a little. I, when I hugged you, I thought it was mm-hmm. Jackson. I'm probably even. Okay. That's my nephew. I thought it was Lil Jax. I said, Jax, she is oh, not that little. Everybody <laughs> is little to Lex, though. Lex is tall. Mm-hmm. I am, tall. But it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, that's why I'm not right big. My knees pop. I can't, yeah. Mm-mm. You got to. Five minutes out of me. You got to see it, No, I can't. Like, to me, though. Not that, you cheating on your bag. Look. That's to see it through, my boy. <laughs> she, like, she a lazy cheat. <laughs> and, and he is. He gonna be like, why the okay, fuck? Okay, so what's y'all favorite position? I like from the bag or like... Mm, I like missionary too. I mean, you know, because let that nigga do the work. Yeah, I'm definitely a missionary let, girl. Let you can't let him do too much because then they be sweating, they be dripping on you. I, I like, like it. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I literally <laughs> question myself at least once a day. Why am I friends with you? Rain down on me. That's my shit. I don't uh, like sweat you know, on I me. Spit. I spit. Oh, okay. Sweat. No, I like spit. Everything. Why do like spit? That is gross. All the juices. It is. But spit in my mouth right now. It just, I be like, so nasty. ooh. It is ooh, nasty. Fuck. But ooh. That's what I be doing. Period. <laughs> no, but I will say like the first time, honestly, I get from the get-go. Like, let's get to it. Because if I'm fucking, I'm fucking. I'm not about to just be like, oh, this is our first time. Let me not go all out. So you be just doing that. Life's too short. If I, this is okay, my so Do you gotta be tipsy or have do you, you be ever, sober? Have you ever, like, cuffed up a nigga that ate your ass on the first night? Honestly, no. no. Exactly. That's why I'm you don't pull lie. out all your stops because you. I'm looking at you like, nah, you eat ass. Because they be like, oh, you do this to everybody. <laughs> but I'm like, but I'm honestly, if you do it, if he, I'll be like, nah, you eat ass, but I do too. Let's bond. <laughs> Let's bond, my nigga. Let's bond. My people. <laughs> my nigga. It's a tribe. <laughs> my Not people. the tribe of ass eaters. <laughs> my people. My uh, tribe. No, my tribe. No, no, that's no, that's no. wild. But my I mean, tribe. I respect everything you do. I love it. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie. Like, let's, I'm gonna keep it 100. The first time I had sex with the last person I was dealing with, like, the first time it was like a lot. I'm like, I know you're a whore. Mm-hmm. How dare you flip me, me around. like this? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It was a lot. I mean, it was good, but I was definitely like, mm-hmm. take it back. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want this. That's why you. I yeah. don't pull out all the stops because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not the first time. No. Maybe yeah. second time. Maybe four for me. Because I'll be shy a couple more times. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be shy. <laughs> four? <laughs> hey, like by the, the fourth time, time, you about to go home now. <laughs> right. You now, go home. By the you fourth time, they be like, damn, bitch, every time you work your way something new in. Okay. Like, okay. That makes sense. Every time something new, like, I'll ride it for the... Okay, so first time, I'm gonna lay on my bed. Mm-hmm. I might get... <laughs> yeah, you, gotta, you gotta walk us through this. You know, okay. And then the second time, I might... 
turn around, reverse okay. all that shit now. Mm-hmm. And then the third time, I might like, hop on your face and jack your big for Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's getting that It's getting that face. It's getting that face. That's a face, no? Because I don't even think I ever did that. I don't think I ever did that. Let me put that in my nose. Let me put that in my... I ain't never did that before. Yeah, you just do little stuff. Okay, I like that. I like that. Now, you just take it up a notch every time. So, maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's what it is. I'll try that my next situation. Like, not... Are you? Yeah. 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 But yeah, I definitely agree. I definitely feel like you gotta work your way up to being like really, really freaky. Like I'm not gonna put a butt plug in the first time I fucking. Yeah, he gonna be like that. He gonna be like, my goodness, (laughs) especially the ones you have. (laughs) <laughs> she be she be on like aisle eight in the back of the room to get her oh butt plugs. God. Them motherfuckers be big. I got the one with the LED light. Oh my god! She, her shit can plug up a tub. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> See, uh-huh. first of all, she lying. I'm very much still on the beginner <laughs> level of butt plugs. <laughs> plug when the left is broke in New Orleans, they use Dre a butt plug. <laughs> To stop the water, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> that was like, she let's call Dre. She has the equipment. <laughs> Dre got the equipment, bitch. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't see. I ain't took it there yet. You haven't because it's just. Are I you? Do like, they make you like nervous? No, because Snitch. I like butt stuff, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. I do. And see, that's, <laughs> that's the crazy thing about us. We don't. But she we like tribe but, too. I like butt stuff. I ain't licking it. Oh. We ended like the beginning. I licked the butt one time and I did not like the flavor. (laughs) (laughs) Wait! What? What? (laughs) What? (laughs) See, that's why I do not want to experience that shit. I didn't like the flavor, so I left it to licks after that. Flavor? You was at Wingstop, bitch? What you got? It was not Wingstop. Garlic butter? What was it? I don't know what, what kind of butter was it, it was, pepper? but it was not garlic. Butter. Now nah, I'm playing. Man, that sucks, man. Nah, That's I'm why playing. I would it, never even give myself it wasn't that really chance. Even, it wasn't really even a flavor, though. I'm playing. I just didn't like it. Like, yeah, it's yeah. just not my thing. Because you know, it's but something it's about being. It's like ex- ex- nothing. Yeah, it's supposed, it's supposed to say like, like, like skin. Skin. So, was it a girl or a guy, but. Yeah, you got to ask her that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It was a guy, but it was a guy, but first of all, that be hairy. But I mean, I like a little texture. No, so the so the booty wasn't hairy actually, which should be questionable. <laughs> Wait, you only do so how did he fresh do, out the shower? Wait, how did he do it? Did he lift up? Did he bend? No, over? he was just already laying there, and I was like sucking his dick, and you know I went did to the balls and then slightly <laughs> at a slight angle. I just never. That's why I don't like ass eating <laughs> because it's kind of like. What position is my nigga about to be? Well, girl, I wouldn't even eat it. Because soon as cause soon as he lifted, I said, "Actually, <laughs> never mind." <laughs> Actually, never mind. Y'all Actually, remember that scene mind. in Lion King when Nala and was licking? Y'all remember was, that scene in, in Lion King when Nala was licking the water and looking up? That be you. <laughs> that be me. I don't know. See this when I'm sucking dick and stuff. I can't hey, look. I don't. You don't like look. to look in the eyes? No, because I feel like I don't know how my look look. Like I don't know if it's sexy or not. I feel like it's sexy. Like niggas love when you look in the eyes. You know, you gotta get the two hand motion. The got got three thousand. Oh, they God. like that. Oh God, I'm sorry. She might, I, I just got my lashes the other day, y'all. That's why I'm having problems. <laughs> Lex is wild though. I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. Be... Okay, so wait. L- before we move on, you said you like butt play. Like, what kind of butt play you like? Okay, like fingers. Okay. okay. Oh, this is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> she's so funny because she's like, so because you know what you had me fucked up all that shit you was talking on your goddamn song I've been bitch. doing it but it be after like the fifth time okay yeah <laughs> okay, so you're not a liar I ain't no liar but I'm a gradual you right. know you're gonna work up I'm gonna work it up because okay, you know okay. like it's kind of like they gonna come back because right. you know what I'm saying they What's always do it they get mm-hmm. <laughs> say it say it <laughs> they I ain't never had like somebody that just fucked me once mm, yeah. okay they want to come back for that action. Mm-hmm. They be believing in my potential. They be like, we going to get to Bobby Smoker Man. What? <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> get to- I feel you. I don't think I ever just fucked a nigga one time yeah. and he didn't ever like call again. Like, like, yeah. like, I probably fucked you one time, but that's because I wasn't interested again. Yeah, but because they be that calling. Was little. Mm-hmm. It was either little or you didn't last. Yeah, you didn't last. I accidentally fucked a nigga and. I didn't want to fuck him no more. Yeah, I've done so, that. Yeah, I feel 
Because it's, it's like, like once you get there, right, and the dick little, y'all can't tell them. You can give me the vibes, you would tell them. You know what? I you wouldn't, know. though. I'm Because I'm a faker. I lie so <laughs> much. I'm like, that was the best thing ever, baby. That's one lie I won't tell. You I'm ain't going to leave this room. I'm just not going to say nothing. But I did say. Yeah, I don't say nothing. Mm-hmm. I just take it and then be right. like, never well, again. I used to do that a lot, and I used to fake a lot. But honestly, I did say, like, I'm not doing that anymore because that's why all these niggas are out here walking around thinking that they got excellent dick, and it's not good. It's not good. So I did say for my, you know, community service, Mm-mm. I'm going to stop lying to these men because that's why all these every time I say something about 70% of women not having orgasms every man be like oh I'm in the 30 no you you're lying no. because how many times have I not orgasmed mm-hmm. in my sex life but they don't know you know why because most of women lie I don't never though. tell them I orgasm yeah I be like what a rose damn well, exactly. not what a rose do some butt stuff I like, <laughs> the butt stuff the butt you stuff. low key my tribe <laughs> <laughs> Butt stuff feel good, but you know what? Okay, that's why I was about to say the butt stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't like the butt plug thing because it's like it feels stuffed up in there, and I just be scared. Mm-hmm. Like, well, be scared, the, right? but the other stuff no, don't feel I stuffed don't, up. No, in well, sometimes they do get to them. <laughs> sometimes it goes to the point where it feels stuffed up, but I be like, you better ask this before I ask it, nigga. <laughs> Going. Not the defecation. <laughs> oh. I be so scared. I be like, okay. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie. The first time you put a butt plug in, it do feel like like you about to shit on yourself. It do. It, it do feels exactly like that. Unless you're like used to it. You know, like the first time you put it in, you're like hold on, hold on. No. You gotta warm it too. Oh. Hold on, you a little bit. I, I never Not really you got a butt plug warmer. I <laughs> no, she y'all. put it in some boiling water. Yeah. In the pot. <laughs> you. <laughs> No, <laughs> absolutely hey, not. Man. Call Hello Fresh right now. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not. Call Hello Fresh right now. It's canceled. <laughs> what? <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not. I do not put it in boiling water. You know, I just you know run it the faucet real quick. <laughs> Warm it up. <laughs> just real quick. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. <laughs> like I swear, you ain't never ate no <laughs> butt plug pie, no butt plug macaroni. <laughs> Man, you sorry. ain't never ate butt plug macaroni pie. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. How she warming that shit up? Cause she be lying too. I know. I ain't <laughs> never eaten at your house again. You like boiling butt plugs and elbow macaroni. You did enjoy that garlic parmesan. Like, <laughs> I'm thinking of every time I ate at your house, bro. <laughs> you gotta watch this. All it was right. delicious sauce <laughs> and nutrition. <laughs> I like that flavor. <laughs> You familiar? Okay, hold on. You put your foot in the <laughs> exactly. You put your foot in the She's all the flavor. <laughs> I hate it here. Let's move on. Okay, so now we go get into the bop. Hey, hey the bop. Bow. 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 You want me to go first? You go first. Yeah, you could go first. I gotta put mine. Up. Okay, so y'all, everybody knows I am a huge, huge, huge Big Crit fan. I love Big Crit because he like he is literally. The definition of like Southern rap. Like mm-hmm. when you think about Southern rap, I feel like you, everybody talk about, of course, like Pimp C, Bun B, mm-hmm. like UGK and shit. Yeah, but like if you talk about Southern rap, you gotta talk about Big Crit. Yeah. You know, like you got, he, my Cadillac on 24s. I'm riding, I'm riding <laughs> out the door. That's how he be rapping like. He's a southern. He made that up. My Cadillac ride twenty four. Hey, you, you can take it, bro. I thought that one put, put, shit. Put, put me on the track. No, bro. Right. Never on the track. I told just why I stopped gassing her up because I knew she was gonna ask you to get in the studio. Hey. Just say no. Just I'm, say no. I'm we gonna talk. Cool. She been trying to get in the we studio. Gonna talk. We gonna talk. My, I got my number one hater right here. <laughs> Anyway, so Big Creek just dropped Bro. his project, Digital Roses, and it's absolutely fire. I love it. He has a song called Just For You. And when I say this nigga slid on this hoe, mm-hmm. he was singing Just For You. <laughs> it was a bop. It was a bop. The first line, I just want to say the first line to y'all. So the first line, he says, let's just say I give up my gators. Taylor makes suits, different flavors. Mm-hmm. So basically the song is about him giving up his old lifestyle for his girl. Because he was a pimp. Right. I'm giving up. If you ain't trying to give up your gators for me, I don't want you. 
He's good at macaroni, Tony. I love it. <laughs> so to open up the song, let you and say, if you and if you know, you know. If you know, you fucking know. I love that. But to me, the, to open the song talking about let's just say I give up my gators, that's a fucking move. Mm-hmm. So big crit just for you. The it's a fire, 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 and I really hope he makes this his next single. Would you give up your gators? Just for you. <laughs> Absolutely. For me? Mm-hmm. So Gators, so basically you lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. What's Gators? The show. Girl, you, you know what Gators is. Gators. Yeah, girl, I got them now. Lay the Gators on. Oh. Gators are like what? That's shoes. What like the, 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 the shoes, the Gator shoes. The Gator, Gator boots with the pimps out Gucci suit. Y'all right. talking about. How old? You talking about you old? You three. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Because how you don't know what gators are? I just was singing a song. I ain't never knew it. You thought he was talking about a crocodile bitch? I just thought he said, Gator boo. <laughs> 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 I thought, I love the fucking joke. You're going to jail. You're going I didn't to know. You're Police. Police. I oh, know, my God. That's why when you read that line, I was like, how did she get that? Let me get that one. Hold on. I got to Google the gator shoes. No, you need to Google. Google gator that. shoes. Like at the gators. Oh. Let's just say. So then like, I give up my gators. Shoes? Yeah. Yep, yeah, pimps wear gators. My daddy got them. Well, your daddy might. <laughs> tell your daddy that. Call, tell your daddy your that. Your daddy call might me. got a secret life. Daddy <laughs> might be. Nah, doing I was some shit under the cover. They, they be in and out. I done met every bitch under the sun. And tell your daddy to call me. He sound like my speed. <laughs> <laughs> call me stepmama. <laughs> uh uh-uh, uh, you too freaky. I don't even want to know what he be doing. <laughs> she said you about to put that booty plug in my daddy ass. <laughs> Don't talk to dad the man like that, bro. <laughs> dad the man. Dad the man. <laughs> God damn. Go ahead with your goddamn <laughs> bop of the week. <laughs> okay, so y'all, I love Kodak Black. Okay. I just talked about <laughs> <laughs> one of the last, bro. I think it was like the last episode or the episode before that and it is so funny because we just did at the end of one of the episodes One Wish by Ray J right <laughs> so why he made a remix to One Wish called I Wish <laughs> and I love it okay shout, shout out, to, out Kodak. to Kodak so yeah that's my pop of the week what you been listening to Kim I'm so glad y'all did not steal mine you gotta put up what's the yours okay, well, okay hold on girl I got the tap what's it called <laughs> Oh, oh, well, see, girl, we didn't say because we had, yeah, we said that, that Gunna, we said Gunna that's album like was best, our bop. It that's is the best song ever. Mm-hmm. Like, I've been listening to that album. P Power is a bop. Yeah, she wanna go viral, and you know we, we fucking viral. Hour. Period. Move. That was the album. Indu. Mm-hmm. I, you know what I will say. You need to say what y'all want about Gunna Gunna. Gunna. Oh, I got it. I got it because you know she. Because she got Pastor Kavasi. You want me to pass Kavasi? No, I got Not the Cavassier, but no. this is. Uh, I ain't want to mention the green for no ass. That's why I'm keeping it wrong. <laughs> you motherfuckers ain't getting no free advertising. Oh, yeah, that's how we get green. The... No, but I will say this. Uh, <laughs> she, I'm still dead to ask him again. <laughs> she gonna say, what kind of wine is that? Is that greeny apple? <laughs> I did what I could with my budget. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> I'm kidding. But what I was saying about Gunna is. We got to give it up to Gunna for the consistency. We do, yeah. yeah. Gunna has been solid and been dropping fire consistently. Yeah. I'm not trying to be funny. Y'all can say what y'all want. Y'all can say pushing P is a lame saying, but everybody's saying that. Everybody's saying Cause it. Because I've been pushing P. <laughs> First, you know what we so I have funny. been. <laughs> <laughs> we know that's what I'm saying, I bro. I've been I pushing P. Like you. I feel understood. Mm-hmm. I've been oh, pushing wow. P for a while, but I wasn't yeah. pushing it. I was just the P part. He said, the funny thing is that I heard that he said that kind that that's like a Texas saying. Yeah. My, but I don't, I don't remember kidding. nobody saying it. Am I tripping? You gotta even go listen to all my you songs. Wasn't pushing so P saying you it. been saying it? Yeah. Because you wasn't pushing P though. I say, you know, I'm a P. I ain't with all that getting attached. I'm from the A, so body in the face. Well, no, I heard people say, I like, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I was about to say. Like, no, I you was probably P, but you wasn't pushing it. You wasn't yeah, pushing I wasn't it. pushing it. I was pushing P since a toddler at the age of three. <laughs> literally, you, was so literally, said, every, literally everything you said on this episode go against it. Right. You was not. <laughs> she was pushing P. Exactly. That's my biggest hater right there. That's, don't mind her. That's my biggest. She hater. was pushing P. Exactly. Yeah. She was eating ass and then passing. That's pushing P. Exactly. That is not P to me. That's, That's not, not P to you. 
<laughs> to you. No, what's me to about you. it? What's me about it is that she be cheating, and then I take pride <laughs> in cheating, pushing it, yeah. yeah, and doing what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it here. Let's wrap this bitch up. <laughs> Let's wrap this shit up, guys. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And y'all know we're going to tell y'all every time about BetterHelp.com. If you've ever thought about getting therapy or you're just one of those people who's always taking care of everybody else, now it's time to take care of yourself. Yes, and it's so much easier than in-person therapy. And you can get matched with a counselor in under 48 hours. And it's also super easy to change your counselor if you don't like your first one. Mm-hmm. Everything is done from the comfort of your own home. So if you want to do video chat... Mm-hmm. Phone calls, texts, whatever you want to do, they make it super, super easy for you. And we actually have a patient review. And it says, Roger has helped me a great deal in a short time. He has a great personality and our sessions are like having a beer with a buddy. Thanks, Roger. Written, um, This review was written by a BetterHelp user with issues concerning intimacy-related issues, parenting issues, and anger management. Yes, yeah, so make sure you go to betterhelp.com slash poor minds. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash poor minds and get 10% off of your first month. <laughs> okay, so those are the bops of the week. Okay, so now we're going to get into our favorite segment. I actually absolutely love this segment. Okay, so first of all, let me tell y'all something. Patreon, I love y'all. Make sure you don't send it to the Patreon messages. You send it to the email and just put in the title that you're a Patreon um, member. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you want your question answered on the show, make sure you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. All right, go ahead. And yeah, oh, girl, so y'all know <laughs> that the live show is coming up in Charlotte um, on March 16th. So make sure you get your tickets. It's VIPs. Be over by the time this whole drive. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead, my nigga. <laughs> go ahead, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that big box was sold out. There's three tickets left. That And that's for Jackson, my mom, and my sister. Go ahead. Like, VIPs <laughs> are already sold out. <laughs> Um, you know, it's tickets left, general admission. Make sure you go ahead and cop your tickets. Even... And we have <laughs> new tour dates. Can sold I get out. Them? I want to go. Yes, but no. no okay, we so we, we actually have, have... on the Houston yeah. show. The Houston show gonna be so lit. Yeah. So it's gonna, gonna be mad people at the Houston show. If you want to hop on stage, I can. <laughs> I like to talk. You know what I'm saying? Go on here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, this is my girl. At this point, we friends. Now. Yeah, we friends, girl. So when I hit you up, like, hey, girl, don't okay. be like. Don't say that. I do not. Y'all, I don't name drop. Yeah, me and Kenna, me and friends. <laughs> we are. Yeah, did y'all yeah, see the Poor Minds episode? Period. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't want to read this first thing. I'll read it. I, no, I'll read it, but I'm I saying I don't want to. I'm going to let her read it. This is, we ain't never going <laughs> okay, yeah. to read it. What what is that? Okay, so read question one. You bitches literally ruined my life. <laughs> A while back, I wrote asking if I was if it was a good idea to keep the child of a man with a sizable network babies. What the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> so we let people got to give us a review yeah. whenever we give a them advice. A sizable network baby. He had a lot even, of money. Oh, mm-hmm. even though he was less than enthusiastic about the pregnancy. Mm-hmm. So y'all gave this fucking advice. We told her to keep. She didn't say what it. advice we gave. Yeah. Yeah. Well, keep going, keep going. I yeet it. She yeeted the baby. I yeeted the baby. And then months after that, another girl he fucked with announced her pregnancy. They're not together at all. But of course, he stepped up and provides for his BM and their kids. And he should. And now she lives in the lap of a luxury while I still have a nine to five. Thanks a lot. That's what. Okay. Guess what? Step your shit up. Cause you're supposed to live the last <laughs> month on your own. Cookies up for they crumble. It and sounds I, like they crumbled, and that ain't my fault. No, so no, y'all gave the don't wait. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> she, she, she had a rich nigga and was like, "Should I have a baby by him?" But she was saying that the nigga didn't want the baby. Mm-hmm. Stop bringing babies into this world because you think it's a check. You don't know what that girl going through. So you looking at what she posting on social media? She could be going through something that you were going through, but worse. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay, and then on top of that, you said another girl he <laughs> fucked with announced her pregnancy. And then now she living in a lap of luxury. So y'all he gonna probably, have ghetto twins? No, let me finish. He probably <laughs> he probably fucked with that bitch. Like he probably didn't tell her he didn't want the baby. He told Joe ass he didn't want your baby. How the hell you know so, that bitch? You love the bitch. 
Period. Not y'all give advice <laughs> then when it come back. Y'all mean about the fuck No, we, we, we not being mean. I'm just you. saying, <laughs> bitch. You gotta get your shit together, because, bitch. Go no, get a job. Because because my thing is, me and Lex are not PhD certified. Speak for yourself. We just be telling. <laughs> We just be telling people our opinion. So if you decide to go off of my opinion and that's how you want to your live your life. Go fuck that rich nigga. Keep that baby girl. It's going to be a check and die. She done get me. It ain't no check. <laughs> <laughs> she like this. Is- <laughs> what? Right. Now y'all tell her to get a job. Bitch, no, no way. She no, I didn't that. tell her to get no, a job. We told her not to have the baby because no, she didn't want it. No, she said that. Because why is you having a baby for a check? It's giving peasants. It's, no. It it's is. Not, I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Let me speak it up. is. It is. Let me speak up for the mother's name. It's giving poor. No, no, no. No, and no, not no, P- no, no. And not P O U R, bitch. P O O R. You was not pushing P. You was You're not a- pushing P. No, why you ain't no money? That's like, what I'm saying. Go file child support now. Because it's pushing poor. <laughs> pushing poor. We will put some child support in it. But she ain't got the baby. How she gonna get the child support? Oh, yeah. Do he sell drugs? Call the cops. (laughs) (laughs) But we was being mean, bitch. No, we mean to him. I want my settlement check, bitch. I bet he sent it then. So basically, I'm sorry, y'all, because we was rambling. The girl that we gave advice to, she asked if she should have a baby by this rich man. He yeah. didn't want to have the baby. We told her not to have the baby because that's he 18 didn't years. He it. didn't want it. Ladies, I'm, I, honestly, all jokes aside, stop having babies and unprotected sex with men that you don't feel like will be a good father mm-hmm. just for the money. There's mm-hmm. more to life than that. And I know y'all probably like, well, Lex, you ain't... A- let me tell you something. I had been to the bottom of the bottom. Mm-hmm. And I never, it never once crossed my mind to have a child to get out of my situation. Mm-hmm. That's taking things too far because you're bringing another life into your mess to get out of. Unless, and that's not that child's responsibility. Unless the person feel the same way. Unless it's a mutual decision. Like, it would be different if and you wanted to still watch it. Because right, them niggas, right. we want some shit they don't want. Right, right. right. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you talking about the other girl. You comparing your situation to the other girl. You don't know what their connection was. You don't know what their relationship was. He probably told her, it's cool for you to have a baby because I really fuck with you. Mm-hmm. And that's why he take care of her. I can 100% guarantee you, if he didn't want your baby, bitch, he was not going to take care of you. And not only that, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Y'all need to stop looking at people's I just, social media. Yeah, stop looking at people's social media. Because when I had, literally, media. I was in Dubai. I say this every time. I was in Dubai with $3. And everybody was like, Lex is living it up. Nigga, I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent. But, <laughs> but you I'm was in Dubai. Dubai. I was in Dubai. <laughs> on a yacht. No, I believe in this money going to come, this money going to go. Just do what you do. You, 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 you can make out. it back home. Don't get stranded now. <laughs> oh, I didn't get stranded now. That used to be yeah. my philosophy too. Long as you got enough money to buy a TV, I think you have home, one life. Yeah. Like, just how did you? Yeah, she, she was. Crazy. She wild. She was doing booty. She stuff. was on a hope in the prayer. That nigga was giving her some money. She never did. She dude. said this bitch was you doing booty. You need to follow her lead. No, don't follow my okay, lead. Okay, I got hit by luck. Please she don't follow good my look. lead. She, okay. Please don't follow well, my lead. Well, I feel like Miss Mamas. <laughs> yeah, what's your advice? I just she said call the cops. <laughs> okay, that was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I just feel like no woman should ever like how you said I would never first of all I ain't even a kid person mm-hmm. and not, not now I'm gonna look at you I do I'm a his person oh okay okay <laughs> now he almost ain't make the cut <laughs> I'll be telling him I'll be every time I'm like oh, yeah, he almost he by the grace of God he made you almost was in the upper room hey, he, <laughs> with, with mine he got some cousins up there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you a fucked up person <laughs> no but I'm saying like I'm for real I'm not a kid person so it's like you don't have no baby with a man that, first of all you don't want to go through an unhappy pregnancy you gonna mm-hmm. be all up and down and in and out and stressed and shit no you go get you some motherfucking money okay period and don't listen to these bitches they just here we just here <laughs> they just here making it out let like, them know again don't listen to these bitches they just here <laughs> thank you I'm glad you said that. we're gl- just fucking here I'm glad that somebody else finally said it cause we be trying to tell them that all the time we just be telling y'all our opinion it is not that well, ain't like something you just run with to the and judge. And we don't even got kids. So why you be, why was, bitch, why you listen to us Y'all anyway? know they ain't got kids. Mm-mm. You see, now you know. They that. know where my kids at. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, I might go. But you know what? God Just try to chime for more things. We about to go off air, y'all. Child. Everybody start applying for jobs right now. <laughs> a black girl does not have to go missing for us not to see her. Visit audible.com slash Tamika and listen now. Hashtag finding Tamika. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all have got to listen to the new Audible original, Finding Tamika. Yes, it's an interesting story about uncovering the life, disappearance, and legacy of Tamika Hudson. From Kevin Hart and Charlemagne the God's SBH Productions comes a neo-noir true crime drama. Uncover the life, disappearance, and legacy of Tamika Hudson. A 24-year-old black woman from Spartanburg, South Carolina, who went missing in 2004. Find out how Tamika's case became a rallying cry for other missing black girls and women in America. Learn how it led to a growing demand to expose a system that ignores the missing women and girls of color. Hear actress, producer, and activist Erica Alexander summon a new generation to help raise the dead, expose a hidden past, and give a dark warning to our future. A black girl does not have to go missing for us not to see her. Visit audible.com slash Tamika and listen now. Hashtag finding Tamika. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Question two. <laughs> hey, y'all. So I am beginning to like this girl, and she is everything I want in a girlfriend. She communicates well, is funny and caring, too. The catch is that my parents are homophobic, and my family is damn near Puritan. Mm. I do not want to tell them, so they do not financially cut. So so they do not financially cut me off, since I currently do not make enough money to pay for school food and my place on my own my friends told me to tell them when i'm financially stable enough to i am bisexual and my friends and some of my cousins already know she already told her mom about me too what do i do can i take this one mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely because i don't eat coochie <laughs> ah, okay <laughs> well i got you i, know I did you but that was my past life mm. girl you were still turn I'm back. Reformed. exactly you can still turn back your time girl <sighs> Hmm. All right, Miss Mamas, let me tell you like this. I told all the bitches that I ever fucked with, I would never bring you bitches to my daddy house. Mm. So you gotta say, baby, as much as you communicate well, you funny, and you uplifting or whatever else you said, just let her know. Look, mm-hmm. you ain't meeting my parents. I love you to death, my right. girl. But you just can't meet my parents because if you're stable with your parents, I mean I don't sell you the big thing of hiding it. Make a burner page. I will hide it. If I know I'm gonna be broke after right I, but i no but do I you want to live your truth poor be real no but bitches be really living poor that's <laughs> no no but i'm saying like if you know that it's gonna fuck you up <laughs> that's what i'm saying you don't we're not, you talking about, we're not poor shaming we're just saying you don't want to be fucked this up this type of stuff gonna cancel me i'm just it's I'm no not, no no it's not, not. It's not. Oh, it's not gonna cancel oh, me trust you me. girl we done said way worse <laughs> trust me oh the opinion's supposed to be this they're gonna be like oh work. ken is a, like... not a poor supporter oh everybody don't have no 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 we're not we're not poor we're what making they jokes just we're they not they not they not let me tell you why if anything they gonna blame it on us they are gonna be like these bitches infiltrated her mind no that's the 85ers coming over cause infiltrated the poor crew don't say these, that. Like that. The these bitches infiltrated Ken's mind. We know she is not like that. No, but what I'm saying is she is a queen. Honestly, when I was <laughs> in be. college and I was struggling, I was working, and if my mom disapproved of somebody because my mom was helping pay my rent, mm-hmm. at that time I'm 22, 23. I'm guessing like you're maybe fairly still young if your parents are still helping you. Mm-hmm. Like I couldn't imagine living my life without my mom's help at that time. So I was say just wait I, I agree with your friend's advice just wait until you're financially stable and also, then come out to what your if parents. that bitch leave you that's now, what I'm saying just wait just wait now you, you done blew your spot up just cause that bitch was funny I mean people <laughs> blow their spot up all the time with me cause I'm funny <laughs> and so I ain't want to see you go down like that you know so just hold off I think I will wait until you're financially stable but you don't stable. have to really hold off because I was sneaking my damn self I would never let my daddy find out he probably knew but guess what he ain't know the know the deal me cause <laughs> I ain't. dad the kid knows now he don't watch this. I tell him. I tell not him. Not dad the king, like, bitch. I thought it was dad, dad the man. man. Oh, oh, dad the king. <laughs> no. Damn. Oh, yeah. No, but for real. Because I remember when my parents found out I was fucking with Beatrice. And it was not on Why my own wheel. Why did you Because my cousin told them. That's mm. what y'all tell Coolly about. know about this story. I was living with a girl that I used to fuck with. And my cousin cool. told on me. That's exactly because like why is you eating Gucci like this? At why mid- would I not? It's six o'clock in the morning. It's, it's time to go to work. <laughs> why are you, you eating Gucci? Go to work. Why would I not? I was going to work too. 
She like, I was doing I both. In, I fit it in. <laughs> I, was yeah. fit, I was fitting in everything. What did you Go say? Work. It sounded like she was saying But, no, I, but say- I just feel like you definitely don't need to introduce, you know, your parents Until to everybody. Until you know it's super, super serious. Like, you can literally wait until, like, own. three years. Who's counting? Three. Three? Yeah, I don't let nobody meet my family. Me neither, not though. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta be head over heels. Yeah, you gotta same. drop that dick in my soul for me to be dropping that, letting you meet people. I don't mm-hmm. even let people meet my son. My mom is a great actor. But that's like good, me. though. You should eat. Yeah, nobody ever meets my Speaking son. Speaking of mm. mom, my mom is a great actor. Just like, she, hey, baby, you know, <laughs> Tiara don't ever bring nobody <laughs> home. <laughs> yeah, it's man. a and six she nigga she done met. And your ass be bringing everybody home. It's a six nigga she done met. Oh, you must be special. But that's like me, because me and your mama got the same birthday. Thing. So whenever Lex introduced me to niggas, I'd be like, "Damn, oh, she, yeah. her. she she love really- you so much. Like she talks about you all the That's time. Never, about to do. never heard of that nigga. <gasps> oh, you the one. <laughs> oh, you the one. She talks about you yeah. all the time. And I, then I'd be like, Lex, which one? <laughs> and she'd be like, All right, question, question three. Number- <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I don't know question number three. Hey, ladies, recently I listened to the segment about your body rejecting a nigga, and I couldn't help but wonder about my own situation. I've been messing with what I consider a new sex partner since October, and I've contracted about three to four yeast infections since we've been fucking. Mind you, it's now February. We have had sex with a condom every time, but I do have to mention that I'm not always wet before the fuck. He expresses he doesn't eat pussy because it's too intimate, and as bad as I want it, I guess I brushed it off because I received every other type of foreplay is my body truly rejecting this nigga or is it something else wrong that i'm not doing because my, because mind you this has never happened with previous partners i have had sex with years at a time you got chlamydia <laughs> i'm just See kidding what i'm saying I'm no kidding. no i was just kidding <laughs> sister when we said our body was rejecting somebody we meant like more so like mentally like your body yes. is cutting up no your body told y'all yeah ass. your body is literally telling you like this nigga like for you to say like you got yeast infections and i'm not even being funny if you have sex with somebody and they give you a yeast infection like please we say this all the time y'all go get tested like stop everything should have stopped right then when you got your first yeast infection because it could be from him but it could be from other things because sometimes people have sensitive vaginas mm-hmm. well i was gonna say that excuse me y'all i just burp i've been burping on here so much <gasps> i was like damn are y'all no i didn't smell it i didn't smell it good because i was she not was talking i was smoking like, marijuana <laughs> <laughs> she dumb. but no um i just feel like yeah i definitely think in this case it's probably more of a sensitive vagina type of situation because okay. she said they've been using condoms the whole time oh she said the whole time yeah she, well, she, she said nothing, telling nothing but the truth so i believe that i was about to say she ain't I don't know she how you get me use a condom. condom. I mean, because she, his hair? Well, well, no, she said... It, 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 no crap, crap. Well, no she crap, said crap. she thinks that she probably not that wet before the fuck, and I feel like that could probably let me, give you a yeast let infection. Let me tell you something. He would have had me at the I don't eat pussy. Yeah, same. Why are you even fucking He's him? It cut. doesn't sound enjoyable. You, know, you got never, yeast infections. He not eating pussy. And then you say you dry. What is the other? What nigga? is the other foreplay? Not the yeasty boys. What is the other foreplay besides hair? What? Does he suck your toes or something? A she ain't say nothing about us all. I don't like this. Stop fucking him. Yeah, he ain't right. And he don't get your pussy wet because obviously the foreplay is not working. Because honestly, you should be wet before he even insert. Yeah. And now you on monastate. Lord Jesus. <gasps> time and time again. It, more than truth. one time. It's the truth. But it's like, it's okay. She was open. Disclaimer, we always don't give advice like this, so don't be scared to write in. They probably like, I ain't never writing. <laughs> but I mean, it's the truth. No, they gonna keep writing because we be telling the truth. Because that's literally the truth. Because why would you keep... <laughs> Bro. She's trying to make it make sense. No, I we're do. Not that's my thing. We're I be judging. always trying to make it make sense because like, if I got a yeast infection one time from a nigga, I would not fuck him again. Mm. I just Mm-mm. feel like nothing I fun about it. itching. Nothing is fun. And then I don't like. I, I don't play about my pussy, bro. Me neither. As I'm, soon as she's looking at me weird, I'm looking at her with <laughs> bitch. We going to the doctor. Bitch, what's bitch, going what's on? Up? I'm such a scary bitch. Me Every too. time I have sex, I Me go too. Bro. Same. because I just be like wondering, like, are you nasty? You know? Cause niggas be lying. Niggas be nasty, and they don't go to the doctor. When do you ever heard a nigga? They be like, "Wait, well, I mean, you, you look clean." clean. No, clean. have you ever heard a nigga be like, "Yeah, I gotta go to the doctor"? Mm. Nope. Never heard a nigga say he got a doctor's appointment. So ever. they don't even be knowing. Yeah. 
So, yeah. All right, question four. Hello, ladies. I've been listening to your podcast for a month now, starting from episode one. How do you ladies feel about your partners recording your sexual acts? I went through a bad breakup with my ex-husband, and he posted intimate videos of us on social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he yeah. also sent yeah. them to everyone, including my mom and dad and co-workers. Yes, my parents have seen me with nut on my face. Although, it really didn't bother me because, for gotta one, be made up. I'm grown. Well, that's how but we also that. were married and doing what married married couples do so really he just made himself look like the bitch he is lesson learned though no I will say this she's probably not lying because I'm telling you you know how many times I've logged onto Twitter and I've seen people post things of people like it's revenge porn yeah. it's revenge porn but and it's how illegal. could you do that to somebody because, that you was married they're to they're bitches my advice and is to hurt. record only on your phone because it's like it's in your like Dre, you, you can record it before. I, I think yeah. you should just record on your phone I feel like as a woman first of all every man that I've ever been intimate with they want me to be comfortable so they always be like where your phone mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying cause it's kinda like it could go that way but I don't know I feel like I fuck with niggas that wouldn't expose me y'all see me on the internet one day I, <laughs> this is inaccurate <laughs> but I just feel like <laughs> you know but I feel like yeah that's it. that's fucked up you just gotta do it on your phone cause I don't think you should just stop it I was gonna say that cause I mean I definitely have gave that advice on the show because I do feel that way at this age mm-hmm. but I will be lying to y'all if I said that um you know, what's some little niggas out there who got stuff on their phone? But yeah. it's like, obviously, they've been and solid. I'm, right. You might be in a well, couple close now, friends, bro. I mean, for now. Close friends. You like, know what I mean? Y'all probably throwing it the fuck back on their close friends. Because you say you mm. like it from the back. I remember that. Oh, ooh, and I be, the memory, And right? I be sucking dick, too. Like, <laughs> oh, it's just yeah. a wild time. See, one thing about it, you ain't gonna get me sucking no dick on the camera. Not even my mom. I'm definitely on <laughs> camera, on film. I just... <laughs> Courtney! You got some nice lips. I can see that though. Thank you. I can see you. <laughs> she she probably <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> she probably already know. But it, it's just like I don't know. I just feel like you definitely at this point. We're telling y'all now going forward. Get it on your phone. Don't be like me because I definitely got like you know it's at least two people out there that got me on their phones who could drop it. And if they drop it, I mean, will she? I don't, I don't think be, they want to drop it because it's going to be like, damn, everybody going with that. I don't That's I, I but I always say that. I'm not going to be embarrassed. Bitch, dro- bitch, drop it. <laughs> do it. Drop it. No, don't do me, please. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Drop yeah, it, bitch. <laughs> if you want me to I'll be honest know. with you. I don't, if a nigga drop it right now, I don't care. That's just going to make my roster <laughs> go up. I'm actually, hey, y'all got to take drop that motherfucker because I need some niggas. Drop it. I just even feel like, look what it did for others. I mean, I'm not drop it. Because, <laughs> bitch, I'm already say, becoming who I if am. That's you could drop it. If that's something that you're afraid of, I will say, just, you know, put the stuff on your phone. And if he wants to watch it, he has to look at your phone. Yeah, when y'all together out of time, because yeah. he's supposed to love you to where y'all together out of time. Anyway. Okay, y'all. Y'all ready to sing this song? I think I want to sing. What are we doing? Y'all, so y'all do- said we was doing the Kirk Bang song, but I think I want to do Still Tipping. I don't know the words. Y'all know still, still tip it on fofo. Fo. That's all I got. Wood grain. I'm gripping. That's me. Like okay, you know. Yeah, dripping. I'm ready. I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know it. No, but are y'all sure? Yeah. What song y'all? If we mess up, we gonna try the second song. If we fuck up that one, we gonna try the third song. We got options. <laughs> I'm gonna take requests from Cooley. Cooley, what we should sing? She I think we should do Most City Dawn though. Know. Yeah, let's do Most City Dawn. Most City Dawn. That's what I think too. I, I'm gonna pull up the word now. Yeah. Airdrop it. No, hey, I'm I, from Orange. I, I'm talking about Air Drop. I'm like, Orange, I don't know I'm it. the Orange City Don. Oh, who is the? Who the fuck is that? The Don. Who the fuck is that? I'm orange the Orange City, city Don. Fruit City, city Don. Huh? Did we? Oh, yeah, orange, she said. Mm-hmm. Hey, I do not remember. I'm orange. the Fruit City Don. Don't say that on camera. I'm the Fruit oh, City Don. Oh yeah, that was a oh, great that show. Was lit. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't need the words. I do those. We're going to start it over here like I needed this. Yo, I'm going to start it off. I'm going to start okay. it off. This Come on, terrible. I need I need <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Drea. 
Slug by the bank and I'll live in my trunk. Mm. The trunk full of punk. I ain't never been a punk. I blow on skunk. I blow on doja. Military minded, I'm a motherfucking soldier. Out the streets of the rich my fault. Not no bitch, you see, I still ain't a hoe. Let niggas know every day of the year. I pin my pen and I get my point clear. Why niggas wanna talk down? I don't know. About to take a trip to Acapulco with my foe, with my foe, foe on my side. When I ride ready to do another homicide in the prime box and I'm gone. Nigga, oh glory. I lay Shauna Kelly just, just like Robert Orr. If I do a murder, flee the murder scene. scene. No missing for the drum and drink. I can't, I can't find, find no lean. From southwest to southeast, bitches about when I buy peace. Nigga like me, I'm about knocking out teeth. Now I'm saying I lose the grill. A nigga coming down in the coupe de ville. Looking crazy, looking like I'm doing. A bad nigga pulling out in the fucking cars over the fucking car line. I'm ready to ride. This nigga gotta go in the car. Me and another nigga on the way to the golden gate. A nigga like me can't wait just to make it to another day. I gotta get the big payout, so get the fuck out my way when I come around and come to so so. It'll be the nigga in the damn polo. That's the rap, Lauren. Jackets ain't bored. Why sit the swag when I went straight to four? Said it like I said it when I old school. Some niggas that be red, but zero blue. I come around your corner, but I ain't said tripping. But I will. Wet niggas and wet women in the calico. I had to let a motherfucker know that I come around your corner and I make a photo. Cause I do it in the flesh. Nigga, watch out, cause that could be your ass. I rhyme so long. I rhyme so strong. I flex my bicep, then I fall along. Get on the motherfucking fence. And when the lobs hit the corner, I hit the fence. I wonder where I went. They keep looking. I don't give a fuck like Tyson. I keep looking. Okay, what's the name? I think that's enough. I was ready for everything to happen. I was so bad. I think it's enough. First of all, I did what I needed to do, bitch. Period. I held it down back here. Riding in my coop the bill. That's all she had. That's all. I was That's like, where all she, she got the leads? We could have just. I could, y'all was rapping too fast. Cause zero do that. Z- and it's I not. know my AK. <laughs> That bitch, bitch, bitch niggas go lay. I could have did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, when man. Shout out to Ken. Thank you so much. This is a really fun. This is like a homegirl episode was. for real. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through. So let everybody know what you working on, where they can find you at. All that good stuff. Ooh. Uh... What the fuck y'all talking about? Well, well, I was trying to say like, right, how... Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so I got some shit. I done got some shit that dropped. Join them, feeling sexy. Y'all running shit up. Got another single on the way. Y'all gonna motherfucking love. Thank you, ladies, for having me. I love Hormones. I feel like y'all are great. This is like the greatest podcast. <laughs> Thank and you. I don't be lying like how y'all be lying. <laughs> I be lying. I'm like, and this is the best. This is the shot. best shit. <laughs> no, this is great. Now I, I, would have, I appreciate that because I would want you to back. say, bitch, this shit suck. <laughs> Bitches don't <laughs> never come on this bitch. I'm no, big. I, These love it. <laughs> I love it because it's a homegirl shot. It definitely is. We been needing it. And because it's truthful, it's fun, you know. And just, I'm giving y'all y'all motherfucking flowers. Thank I you. This is great. Thank you. Courtney been telling me coolie. <laughs> we gotta stop saying her real name, kid. She gonna beat us up. I know. I'm just so sorry. It's my I friend. know. Me too. Me too. I've been We're calling. friends, okay? Because I'll be like, who is coolie? Okay, so where can they find you on social media? I'm Ken the Man on Earth thing. I'm Ken the Man. Body smoking marijuana. I, I get the shit from my can mama. We get, can we do? Can, can we, we get a verse? Can, get a verse? Some, some before we go? Okay, now, friend. <laughs> she, said, she said, first of all, bitch, where the feed? Oh. No, I got some I wine. Do I, got you. Some I wine. ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do I got some wine. That's all I got. She said, <laughs> I was about to rap with body smoking marijuana. I get that shit from my mom. She always can't wait. Please, I, I was just give her a little. I always be telling them, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> He said that pussy so good that he wanna take, take out, out the, the condom. condom. Mm. I told him he pushing his luck. He, he better be, be happy. I fucked him. He be like, oh, oh, fuck, oh. Uh, you know what? First of all, let me just say, if y'all never heard, he be like by Kinder Man. It's That's a fucking my bop. shit. I love this song. Girl, Box up. for days. Girl can really, really rap. Like mm. honestly, all jokes aside, fire. I'm so proud of you. I'm yeah, really me too, glad girl. that you. Uh, you putting Houston on the map like it's some real mm-hmm. shit going on so yeah this is an H-Town connection love y'all so much and we'll see y'all next week bye y'all ooh ooh fuck ooh I cause I ran like, that song on the ground hun did, no, y'all, yeah. did you send them join them that was our shit y'all didn't we didn't ever send it to him